الحمد للہ وسلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد ولاری وصحب ہی وسلم اما بعد حب تفلہ اللہ سبحان و تعالی سے سفی کی تیب ہل کریم وساب کون الاولون من المحاجرین والانصار والذین تبعهم بیحسان رضی اللہ عنہم ورضو عنہ وعد لهم جنات تجری تحتها الانہار خالدین فیها ابدا ذالك الفوز العظیم Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem and the scholars mention that this is about the Sahaba to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu tal'anhu majma'in and it's very clear from the siyaq of the ayah from the <clears throat> the context of the verse and the actual text itself how clear as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَالسَّابَقُونَ الْأَوَّلُونَ مِنَ الْمُحَاجِرِينَ وَالْإِنصَارِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions and those who raced and you know were the uh, who had precedence from the first مِنَ الْمُحَاجِرِينَ وَالْإِنصَارِ from the muhajirin and the ansar meaning the those who made hijrah with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from Mecca to Medina and the ansar were the Sahaba those who received them in Medina and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَالَّذِينَ اَتَّبُهُمْ بِإِحْسَانَ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ وَرَضُوا عَنْهُ that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala then says and those who followed them بِإِحْسَانَ in righteousness رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمْ Allah is pleased with them. Waradu and who? And they are pleased with him. Subhanallah. Before we even finish the rest of the ayat, look at this Ahabatifillah. Or in fact, more appropriately, let's finish the ayat. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that he is pleased with them and they are pleased with him. Meaning they're pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his qadr, everything, uh, his shara, Islam, wa sunnah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wa'adda lahum. Wa'adda lahum. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, <clears throat> that he has prepared for them. Paradise, underneath which rivers flow. Khalidina fiha. That they will exist forever there. And that is the supreme success. That is the supreme success. So that lets us know, Ahabatifillah, that following, <clears throat> because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even mentioned the followers of those Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, in that ayah. That ayah is a, from the most important nasus from the Quran to show us and give us evidence for following the minhaj of the Salaf al Salih. And that means it's not the minhaj of the Diobandiya or the Naqshabandiya or the <coughs> Maturidiya or oh, Jamaat al Ahbash, Wal Bid'ah, Wal Jamaat al Takfir, Wal Khawarij, Wal Akhwan al Muslimin, or any of those other sects or groups. Because those, I just mix sects. And groups. Some of them are sects, and some of them are groups, like political oriented parties and, and so on and so forth. Jama'at. The point being is that Allah, the creator of the heavens and earth, the creators of everything, the creator of everything that we see, everything that exists, who created everything in due proportion, Tabarak wa Ta'ala who provides and sustains everything that he subhanahu wa ta'ala says himself that he is pleased with the sahaba to rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu anhum ajma'in and he said min al-muhajirin wal-ansar he said from the muhajirin the people who made hijrah 
from Mecca to Medina, will Ansar and the Ansar, those who receive them, Ahlul Medina. Radi Allahu anhu muradu an. He is Subhanahu wa Taala is pleased with them, and they are pleased with him. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, before that, He mentions. And those who follow them in righteous, who follows the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala in in righteousness, illa salaf as salih. Who follows the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala in except the salaf of this ummah, except those following the madhab of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, Ahl Hadith. The Salafiyun in, in contemporary times, al uh, Ahl Athar, men. Who else? Imam Bukhari, Rahimullah Ta'ala, after mentioning the hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam, in which the Messenger Alaihi Salatu Wasallam said, Khairan Nas. قَرْنِي ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يَلُونُهُمْ ثُمَّ الَّذِينَ يَلُونُهُمْ Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, The best people are those of my generation. Then those who follow them, then those who follow them. This is the Salaf. That's the method of the Salaf. Tell me where the Maturidiyah fall into that. How does their Aqeedah and their ta'wil of the sifat of Allah Azza wa Jal. And how does the asha'ira, how do they fall into that context? And how could it possibly be that Akhwan and Muslimin with a new minhaj and methodology that they fall under that? How could it possibly be that the khawarij, those who make takfir and spend their time making takfir of the government, speaking about the governments, encouraging people to make rebellion and fold the in the lands of the Muslims, how do they fit into that? I don't see any of them fitting that. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, The best people are those people of my generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. <clears throat> so we see that it is the madhab of the Salaf. It's the madhab al-Haq. And I don't know why we have people nowadays who call that into doubt, although they always have. Ahl bidah has always fought against the Nasus. They've always tried to distort and <clears throat> co-opt the Nasus to their bidah. They've always done it. But still it amazes me how people will claim to follow the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but then they have a problem with Salafiyyah. They have a problem with the whole minhaj of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. They reject it. Then, but at the same time, out of the side of their ne necks and faces, they say, we follow the sunnah. We follow the sunnah. What sunnah are you following? If it is not the sunnah of Muhammad ibn Abdullah, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, what sunnah could that be? We're not sure. And I don't think they are sure. Because the sunnah that the people want to follow, more often than not, it's the sunnah of their hawa. It's the sunnah of their desires that they say they follow the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, but then they distort the messenger, they distort the message of Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and his sahaba radiallahu ta'ala in and they don't accept a lot of the precepts of the salaf al salih. They don't accept a lot of their usul. They just can't get down with it, they say. They just don't agree with it. In this issue, we don't like that. We feel uncomfortable with obeying the, the leaders. We want to speak and spend our time speaking against the leaders. We need to uh, find a new way. We don't like the people who are representing Salafia. We don't agree with those scholars. Those scholars are the scholars of Saudi. All kind of weird, twisted distorted arguments that really have nothing to do with the argument aslan the asl is that we're talking about the sunnah of muhammad ibn abdullah and his sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala majma'in as-sabiqun al-awwalun min al-muhajirin wal ansar walladhina tabahum bi ihsan and those who follow them 
and righteousness. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about those usul and those precepts laid down by them. How did they understand the deen? Did they speak and spend their time making takfir, call, calling to rebellion, delving into masail and issues that had no faida, no benefit? No, they didn't. <coughs> did they take the people away from the origin of the religion and studying the origin of the religion, learning the origin of the religion, practicing the, the asal of the deen and these masail? And call them to political activism? Is that what they did? La Abedin. Abedin, they didn't do that. And that's why this is an encouragement for myself and my brothers and sisters to stick to the Sunnah of the Prophet. That which has so much doubt, and even if you don't know the hukum, whether it's halal or haram or whether it's good or bad, then that's probably a first indication to avoid it. That's a first indication. To avoid it and stick with those usul ahl sunnah, especially when you find different manahij, different ways, different forms of practice, which clearly, <coughs> which clearly go against that usul that we're talking about, that that uh, f those foundation principles. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal, the Almighty, to forgive us and bless us with the class, with the bad ahl sunnah. To rectify our condition and affairs and help us to be better slaves of his Tabarakwatala and to subvert the ills, the evil of our own selves. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala Ali wa sahbihi wa sallam.